Hi bakers and welcome back to the Kemba Kids Club where this week we're reimagining one of my favorite recipes into an entirely new form. We're making a carrot and orange loaf cake. It's super quick to throw together. You can simply throw it in the oven, forget about it and within an hour you will have an absolutely beautiful cake. To make yours, begin by grating your carrots using a large hole grater. I'm using my Kenwood Multipro Go food processor, which I absolutely love. But of course, if you don't have a food processor, you can do this just using a normal box grater. And once you've done that, you want to squeeze out any excess liquid because carrots are actually really wet and we don't want all of that moisture going into our cake or it will be really sloppy. I'm just using an old, very clean tea towel and I'm squeezing out the excess liquid before setting the carrots aside for later. In a large mixing bowl, combine all of your dry ingredients. So that's your sugar, both types of flour. We've got wholemeal and regular self-raising flour, bicarbonate of soda, mixed spice, and the zest of one large orange, and then mix those together thoroughly. Once you've combined all of the dry ingredients, it's time to add the wet ingredients. So that's your two eggs, the sunflower oil, and the grated carrot. Again, we're just going to mix that together until it's thoroughly combined and completely smooth. Transfer the mixture into a lined loaf tin and we're going to bake that in a preheated oven. So that's 180 degrees C or 160 fan gas mark 4 for around about 50 to 55 minutes. You want to make sure your mixture has stopped bubbling when you listen to it or that an inserted skewer comes out clean. While it's cooling though, we can make our butter cream and we're going to begin as always by creaming our butter until it's really, really pale and very smooth. Next, add in the icing sugar as well as the zest of one orange and around about a tablespoon of orange juice. You can use the juice from the orange, by the way, you don't need to add like actual orange juice. You'd be surprised how many people who have tried this recipe have actually gone out and bought some orange juice. Mix those together again until they're nice and smooth and then transfer it into a piping bag until you're ready to use it. When your cake is completely cooled, we're just going to use a piping bag fitted with an open star tip to pipe some decorative swirls of buttercream on the top. You can do these however you want. I've done a couple of rosettes, a couple of stars, but to be honest, most of this will be hidden under your pecan topping anyway, so don't worry about making it too beautiful. Finally, as I've just said, we're gonna to top it with some freshly chopped pecans, and then you can leave your cake to set until the buttercream even has crossed it over, and then you can pop it in an airtight container for up to three days. I really hope you enjoy making this one. As I say, this is one of my absolute favorite recipes, just reimagined into a new form, and I think you're going to love it. If you do give it a go, as always, don't forget to share it with us in the Kenwood Kids Club. And remember, we'll be back at the same time next week with another video. Until then, as always, take care and happy baking.